What's up, dorks? Lucky here, the Dork Dad from the Dork Dad Podcast, with another review and a brew. But first, I just want to shout out the RLU Podcasting Network, Raw Live Unedited Podcasting Network. Uh, one for uh, Rich, I think, first mentioned these. And I know Chris, Espinosa, and Cheney from the uh, Toy Migos podcast, They're Not Dolls, uh, recommended these little cases from Walmart. They're little pencil cases, but they are great for storing and organizing your loose figures. So check these out. Bring this up. Pen and gear. They're like $1.80, something like that. But they are they are nice. You stack them. Take them out. They're pretty cool. So before we get on to the review, let's get to what we are brewing. What's the brew for today? We have from Free Tail Brewing Company right here. In San Antonio, Texas, we have Bat at a Hells, a German style lager, 4.7% alcohol. So here's our brew. Got our glass from ESPN Disney World. So for those of you who like a German style lager, we go. And I'm sure if you guys are interested, you can find this online. If you're not from Texas or San Antonio. But for those of you who are interested in picking up some of this, I'd be glad to help you guys out. Uh, get it in your part of the woods. So here we go. Free, free tail, bad out of hell's German style lager. That one's a real easy drinker. We'll put that aside. That is our brew. But what are we reviewing today? Um, Something I didn't even remember that I ordered, but I did. And this may give you guys somewhat of a hint. Um, Supreme Collector, Brandon Wong. So shout out to Brandon for getting this for me. So what is it? I mean, we got this box here. It just says PE. So let's see what it is. Got the knife here. Open this bad boy up. I don't like the pre-open stuff for you guys. I'm gonna open it up for you as I go. So I'm be just as surprised as you guys. All right, so we got a reddish colored box here. And what could this be? Alright, this is the back. A 1-6 scale collectible figure. And those of you who know me, I don't have that many 1-6 figure. <gasps> Happy face. Hmm. What could this be? Happy face. 1-6 scale figure. Oh. Feeling my beer over here. Getting excited. Let me move this. All right. So, take the plastic off. So, happy face. What could this be? Whoa. Put on, put on happy face. 
Okay, how do we get this out? The box inside a box. Oh, here we go. Oh, that might be a hint for some people. Nice little backdrop there. Uh-oh. We got him covered up. Let's check him out. Uh-oh. We have a figure in a red suit. What is this? A gun. I want to drop these. My hand pegs. Two sets of hand. This mask may give it away. Let's get this out. It's all covered up. What's a nice stand there. Take these off his hands and his feet. These clown shoes. Uh oh, I said clown. Nice shoes there. This is a pretty nice suit. I mean, I, I, I've only had one other hot toy, and I sold it. But let's see. This is not a hot toy for those who are wondering. I don't even know what brand this is. It's obviously not a hot toy, but. Check him out. Suit feels kind of big, but is very nice. Here he is, Mr. Joaquin Phoenix. The lighting is so good. So he does have this head. Let's see. I'll take this off. What other heads does he have? He has a regular face. So this one is sort of a crying face. Still pretty nice. And we have a smiling face. Right, and he has another face here. If I can get him out. And that is the regular Joaquin Phoenix head. I don't know if uh, Brandon has any more of these available, but they are pretty nice. I said, I don't know if it's me, but the suit seems kind of big. Um, but I like it. Like I said, I forgot I even ordered this from him. Let's see how it looks with the mask. Is a clown mask. Can you put this on him? go this clown mask pretty cool he also comes with flowers that he gave to young Bruce Wayne and like I said four other sets of hands or two other sets of hands open hands and trigger hands So there he is. Like I said, I don't even remember who makes it or what the brand is. Like I said, I don't even remember ordering it from Brandon, but um, I probably did. So he messaged me and said, hey, your uh, Joker is in. So I said, cool. Here's my money. And he sent it over. So, yeah, that's him. Um, again, it is not a hot toy. I don't think, I could be wrong, I don't think Hot Toys has released a Joaquin Phoenix figure yet. 
Um, and I do not have any other hot toys, but I do have three zero. I have uh, Walking Dead, Rick Grimes and Negan. So let's see. And Rick's on a stand. I take them off. If I take this Rick Grimes three zero. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty much the same size, so that's kind of neat. Uh, so there he is with Rick Grimes. Where's his, where did I do with his gun? So they size up pretty good. Wow, that's a, this is a nice little gun. I mean, the 3-0 Rick's revolver is plastic. This little revolver, the, the handle is plastic, but this is a metal gun. That is, that is nice. I wasn't expecting that. So, yeah. Do this. Let's see how easy it is to take the hand off. Put this guy on. So, I am not a poser, but I'm more of a displayer. But he does have his gun. Make him stand. So, there he is compared to Rick and his gun. Like he's a nice metal revolver. Put his other head back on. His clown head. Overall, he's pretty nice, I think. Uh, for not being a hot toy. So, and there he is compared to a another 12-inch figure. Let's see, Let's pull out the stand. It's actually a nice little stand. I guess you could put a nameplate there. I don't see it coming with anything. Yeah, it's a nice little stand. So there he is. The one six scale. Put on a happy face. Oh, look what if we do this. And it's a nice little backdrop. Comes with just like that. And he's pretty nice. I gotta play around with them, see if I can put them in some of those wacky dancing poses. Uh, if I manage to do that, maybe I'll post up some pictures. But let's see. I need another drink. So, let's see some some more close-up shots. So he is pretty nice, I think. 
jacket is pretty nice. It has like this little shine to it. It's nice. Like I said, I think it'll clothes look just a little tad big, but again, maybe that's just me. Really nice. Velcro vest. No belt. Nice looking shirt. Overall, overall I'm liking it. For a not hot toy price, um, it's a very nice not hot toy figure. I am happy with it. I just need a 12 inch Batman. As much of a Batman fan I am, I do not have a 12 inch Batman. Although I did pre-order my first Hot Toys. I pre-ordered um, the Arkham Knight um, Batman Beyond version uh, from Sideshow. So I'm looking forward to that because that just seems like a badass figure. I'll definitely be reviewing that one once I get it, once it's released. But there's that. Um, the biggest figure I have here is this nine inch or one ninth scale. Doesn't compare. And yeah, I don't. You know what might scale? Hold on one second. I have this Batflex statue. This bat fleck statue, DC collectible statue. It's like this resin material. Uh, the cloth wired cape, which is kind of nice. How does he uh, measure up? Might measure up. Huh? No, I think the statue's bigger. Just a tad bigger because he's crouched over but yep That's my bat flick bbs statue and the one six joaquin phoenix and i guess that'll do it for this time thanks you all for watching again review and a brew Again, if you guys are interested, Free Tail Brewing Company here in San Antonio, Texas. I do have a bunch of other flavors, but this one is the Bat Out of Hells. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and follow and all that stuff. I'll check y'all later.